going on, guys? Is StarCraft 2 still a thing? I, I used to play StarCraft 2. I might play StarCraft 2 again. Is StarCraft 2 still a thing? That's hot. I can just feel it. I just got that. I'm probably not going to drink it just yet. Okay, hi, everybody. So... I think I remember more about that night. And I think I know why all this is going on now. This is like the word, like I feel kind of shitty, but like not really because you stole from a kid and you keep acting like a cunt. But so what if I remember correctly, Night for Freedom 2018 or whatever the fuck it was, uh, I was. A sponsor. They hadn't had super sponsors yet, but I was so I was a, just a regular sponsor. And then there was like a that was the highest level they had, and there was a level before that that I think was called like VIP or some shit. And then before that was like a something else, and you came in early. And then uh, there was general admission. So I think Tiffany was a VIP and I was a sponsor and whoever the fuck the person was that you sent to like spy on me or talk to me and invite me to that shitty dinner party like a month later or whatever the fuck that I didn't go to because why the fuck would I go why the fuck would I go to a random dinner party in the middle of Manhattan that some 50 year old person invited me to. You should have invited me to that. I would have fucking dropped everything. Stupid fucking hag. It's hot. I don't want to deal with that right now. Anyways. So. So I say it's a cult. And a religion. So based on what your ranking is. You could come into, you could go to the this level of the temple. You could only go to this level of the temple. You can't come into the temple until ten o'clock, right? So, and then I got there late. I was supposed to be one of the first ones in, but I got there late because I was drinking with my uncle. I'm not supposed to say that, but I was. I was like, Uncle, I have to go to this. Uncle, I hardly ever see. But God, it's a Super Nintendo back in the day. I have to go at this specific place to go party with a bunch of people that I apparently am going to super impress and not remember. Let's meet up for drinks beforehand. Sure, meet me all the way fucking over here. <laughs> Because it's easier for me. <laughs> uh. Anyway, anyway, so, so so I got there late and drunk already. <laughs> They're filming something. Some bullshit. So I said something about silver and gold or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Then they had dancers wearing American flag swimming suits, which was kind of cool and whatnot. And I was like, hmm. Which, honestly, you would think that's where you would meet Tiffany. But it's not where I met her. So then... It's not a latte. I think I broke the latte machine. It's just a regular coffee with half and half, no sugar. Don't break my balls. All right. You don't know how much sugar is in a latte. Yeah. Something tells me you're going to let me know anyways. All right. So then they had the whatever 
that they did. I don't remember because I was already drunk. And then it was time to go mingle. Like a church shit. Like a fucking... It's time for the... Now that the sermon's over, let's go have the munch and mingle. But they had like little like areas. <laughs> and I was in like the sponsor area and there was like some douchey nerd who tried uh oh, fuck a creepo tried to hit on me on the next one uh and then um probably that old asian dude that i didn't talk to until the brunch the next day and then but that, that was it there was like a bunch of like dudes and everyone there was like loaded obviously had a bunch of money but i was like uh Who's that Asian bitch? I'm gonna talk to that Asian bitch over there in the VIP area. So I went to the VIP area, and like you can't like, I can't go, hey Asian bitch, I saw from across the room, I want to bang you really hardcore. You can't do that. So instead, I was like, hey, really hot Asian bitch, I'm gonna talk to your stupid friend here and ask for cigarettes. And she was like, but I thought, but I thought you, I'm just gonna stand here some more and stare at you. I was like, yeah, okay, you do that. Hey, I'm going to ask you the occasional question. Yeah. And, like, I wouldn't just ask her if I – oh, God, because if it's not her, then I'm going to get in so much trouble for this shit. So, like, I would, like, pretend that I was, like, into her friend, and then I would, like, lean into Tiffany, like, or Stephanie, like, and, like, whisper into her ear, and, like, push her hair behind her ear, and, like, run my fingers down her back. Like, hey, let me ask you a question. And I would, like, take my hand, like, on her back and bring it, like – up her spine and shit like that. You know, like the little, like, sensual, soft thingies, right? To, like, really get her juices going and shit like that, right? She seemed to like it. Oh, is that's also probably why she doesn't want to answer my other questions. Because I already... Like, yes, they are lines. But no. Uh... You're just... But... No, I don't use them on everyone. You're just special. <laughs> no, they're, it's like, look, I use them on everyone because it tells you. <laughs> this, you're supposed to. It's how you could psychoanalyze people. It like, it's like that. Hold on, my finger. I got bitten all the way through here. So sometimes my finger tweaks. I have to like, I swear to God, sometimes my finger will be like, I'll be like, let me go here, and it'll be like, Wah! like ah, fuck, ah, oh, it hurt, fucking hurts sometimes. And I went punching, so. But anyways, I'm gonna get a lift in today and go punching later again. I need to wrap my hands again. That's what it is, fucking nerve damage, whatever. Anyways, so look, everyone thought that like we were a couple. For like a minute. I mean, everyone, people were like telling me like, how long have you known her? And I was like, oh, we just met. <laughs> Shit like that. Uh, uh, uh. And then that's when I was like, you weren't drinking, were you? God damn it. You weren't drinking, were you? Why would you? Are you, did you start drinking because you saw me get super sloshed? She wasn't drinking. She didn't even, ha she had like a water or some shit like that. She wasn't drinking. She was wearing all black with short hair and her glasses. And I'm pretty sure flats or some kind of like, like not healed things. And she's a total wallflower. And she didn't drink a damn thing that I saw. She had like water or some shit. I pre no, I'm pretty sure it was water. Or some shit like that that she was drinking. And I was getting so shit-faced. What the fuck? I'm pretty sure I started going around like shadow boxing everything too. Like I had to. Like I guarantee you I was shadow boxing everything. But then I was like, I'll be right back. And I went to like go make the rounds. And I saw you talking to that douchey loser. So I fucking just cut you off i was like fuck you hag i thought we had a thing going stupid whore uh that's when i grabbed cassandra's ass because it was sticking out and i didn't see you at all again the rest of the night you just like left 
I went to get like your hair dyed blonde and to start doing six inch heel training and shit like that. Like the problem's always been your douchey. Look, like, I'm not the problem. Like, like I'm, I refuse to believe that because my life is fantastic and just fine and dandy the way it is. Okay, you're not the problem because you are fine and dandy just the way you are because we get along fantastic. The problem is all your douchey loser friends. Now, I do not give a fuck about any of them. I don't want to. I don't care. They're all, they're all, they're all nice people. Have a good day. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. God, you are so hot. You are so fucking hot. Why the fuck would you? Oh, you. Oh. I'm. My official stance that I'm pretty sure Gloria Song liked on her last video where she's doing a full-on Feedy's expose is I, I think her channel is coming along great and she's going to be a great influencer and I have only this like short amount of time to say things like that before I get badgered into being soulmates with a K-pop star again. Be that as it may, did you ever think about the fact that maybe I don't, you might want to be, Tiffany might want to be soulmates with, 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 with JT or whatever the fuck, cyberpunk. Tiffany might want to be soulmates with cyberpunk, but did Tiffany ever stop to think that maybe cyberpunk wants to be soulmates with Stephanie? Your friends are stupid. All right. Have a nice day, everybody.